Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Angel and I like to do zero based budgeting. Um, so we'll get right into it. We're going to go over our monthly budget for March. I can't believe it's already March, first of all. <laughs> Secondly, um, we're just going to go over, I've already have it all written out, so I have these to cover it. And this is Paycheck One's budget, so we're saving that for later. Um, okay, so this is what our income is expected to be. Um, my husband should bring in around $2,000, hopefully at least that much. And my pay is expected to be, uh, at least $1,300. And then we have, uh, $632 of VA income that will come in for my husband, uh, from my husband's service. Um, and then we have our fixed expenses here. These are all normal. If you've seen my channel, you know what these are. Um, if you're new, if you're new here, we'll go through it and I will explain our expenses. So we have the mortgage, which will not change. It's going to be, uh, $1,072 and 54 cents. We have our electricity. That is the actual amount of the bill this month. We have our gas, which is 150. That's a little more than the bill this month, but I like to, you know how, uh, electric companies or like utilities will do budget billing for you where like your gas bill is going to be higher in the winter. So they'll charge you more in the summer to make up for it. Well, I do that to myself. Um, so I have a sinking fund where I track just how much I have allotted for gas. Um, and I just build that up throughout the summer. That way in the winter, when our electric bill is like $270, it does not hit as hard, um, in that given month. I can always make it be around, um, 150 or actually all summer it was $60 and we were fine. So, um, I'll do the same this year. Water, that's our actual amount under $50. Trash is just over 60. Internet, I did call them and have them lower this. Um, so whenever this runs out, I will call them again. Uh, it was like $90 almost, but I got it lowered to 70 ish. Dr. Squatch, that is my husband's sub subscription. That's $14. Mint is our cell phone plan. So it's $60 a month for both of us for, um, I think 25 gigs, but we never use it all. So that's good. Farm Bureau, that's our vehicle insurance, about $130. Verve is our, a subscription we have. It's uh, $9.99. Disney Bundle, $18.99. Uh, we pay for this for us and the our parents. Uh, well, his parents. Um, and it's Disney Plus Hulu Bundle. Coffee subscription. This is the last month of this. It's $17.45. This was kind of a little treat to my husband. Um, dog food should be around $65. Somewhere in there. So if we add all of that up, we get a fixed expenses total of $1,866.17. That won't change very much, but with the dog food, it may go up or down a little bit, depending on how it goes. We're going to move on to our there we go, variable expenses. So we did decide to move our grocery budget from $600 to $650. Um, things are getting more expensive. My son is eating more food. So we're going to do 650. <laughs> um, hopefully I don't have to move it up to 700, but we will see. We live in the Midwest. Um, we live in like Southwestern Missouri. So if that gives you an idea, it's, we live in, uh, not a, not a small town, but not like a huge town either. Um, but there is like 5% tax on the food and it's just, it's crazy out here. Anyway, Household, we're going to do $100. That's toilet paper, candles, um, yeah, sponges to wash dishes, things like that. Gas, $300. My fun money and my husband's is both $25 for the month. Uh, vehicle maintenance is going to be $200. Hopefully we don't need to add that anything to that this month. <laughs> We've been getting demolished on vehicle maintenance recently. Uh, healthcare is going to get $20, although it probably doesn't need any. We're going to go ahead and just buff that up. Pet care is 100. Date night is 50. We put that up from 40 because we do plan on going out for sushi um, and that can get a bit expensive. So we have our leftover from last month, which was about $26. Uh, plus this, that should be plenty for us to go get sushi and ramen. Um, clothing, we're going to put 20 toward to keep that saving going. Um, baby is going to get 100. That's my son's sinking fund for car seat, diapers, wipes, all that. Uh, house is going to get 25 and that's for, uh, we'll need to get a, a weed eater or a weed whacker or whatever so that my husband doesn't have to keep borrowing his dad's because that's a really annoying <laughs> trip to make. Um, we are really thankful he lets us borrow it, but it'd be a lot easier if we had our own. Um, anniversary is getting 20. That's in October. So we're saving up for that. Holidays is getting 10. 
Birthdays is getting 10, which I might up that. I'm not sure. Christmas is getting 35. Beauty is getting five. Taxes is getting zero. We already paid our personal property taxes for the year. And I think we still have, we'll have to start saving at some point, but not right this second. Um, books is getting five. Hopefully budgeting is getting five. Travel is getting five. Gifts is getting 10. We do have a wedding shower to go to this month, but I'm not sure if we'll take anything. Um, they said gifts are not expected at all. So we may take them up on that because we do not make a lot of money. <laughs> um, tithe is $5. Uh, we're going to really, really make an effort to start going back to church. Um, we didn't go after my son was born. It's just like, it's intimidating and I'm still intimidated to go with my son just cause I know he'll make noise. Um, but I know that a lot of people love having children in the service and, if not, I'll just go to the nursery with him and, and hopefully they'll allow me to stay in there and hang out with him. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'll let you know next video <laughs> or maybe paycheck too. I'll let you know. Jim is getting five. This is going to be for things around the house to do Jim in. Um, we invested in some dumbbells. Um, and so, or no kettlebells, kettlebells. Yes. So we're going to do that at home. That way we don't have excuses. We just, it's there and we just need to do it. Furnishings is going to get five. Miscellaneous is going to get 20. Just have a little wiggle room and vehicle registration is going to get 10. Now let me go ahead and <coughs> do the totals here. So the totals for our variable expenses is $1,615, which is a lot, I know. And then other expenses is not as much. It's going to be $160. So I wonder if that even balances out if I add it up. It does on my spreadsheet because I do use um, a Google Sheets to kind of, um, is that a 15 or 17? I don't know. Hold on. 15. Okay. That one right there got me. 160. Darn my bad handwriting. Yeah. Okay. So it's less a by a couple of hundred dollars than what we are bringing in. Um, my budget over here says about $291 and 34 cents less than our, um, income is expected to be. So that gives us wiggle room and hopefully we make, we bring in more, we spend a little less and we're able to, um, put some more money toward the emergency fund. So that is what our monthly budget is looking like. And I think we're just going to truck right ahead into the Paycheck One budget and get them both knocked out in one video. Um, save you guys some time. Save myself some time. Uh, I really want to be consistent with the YouTube posting, so I'm going to make it as easy on myself as possible. So please bear with me. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Give me just a second to get this all set up for you. All right, so this is Paycheck Number One. Okay, now that's going to mess me up because I did all caps over here and now I did little, little letters over here. <sighs> okay, so our expected income for paycheck number one is um, $1,000 for my husband, hopefully about $700 for me, and the VA uh, income. So if we add that up, because I don't have that over here, 1000 plus, ooh, that's 100 If he brought in $100, we'd be in big trouble. 632.31. That gives us $2,332.31 of income for the first half of the month. So we will take out our um, mortgage, which will be uh, half of our mortgage for April will come out of that paycheck and it'll be 572. Uh, electric will come out, the gas will come out, the water, the trash, the mint, the doctor squash, the coffee. So all of these are like the big bills, you know, um, that we definitely need to have come out first. That way they're taken care of. I do have a buffer for all of these, um, but I have anxiety. So they come out first. And then we have Dr. Squatch and coffee there because the coffee will come out on the first of the month, I believe. Um, and then we have our variable expenses. We'll do three fifty for groceries the first half of the month. We tend to stock up on things from Sam's Club that we've run out of um, meat, things like that at the beginning of the month. Um, we have a nice or a good, uh, butcher, local butcher in town that sells, um, they have sales a lot. So we'll, we'll stock up while they have sales. Household, we can get a pound of beef from them for $2.99 on sale. Whereas like, it's almost, it's like $5 and 50 cents at Walmart for a pound of beef. It's ridiculous. Anyway, 
Household is going to get 50 for the first half of the month. Gas is going to get 200. Both of our fund money, we're going to get full, the full amount, that the full 25. And vehicle maintenance is getting 200. I'm really proud of my husband. He's been saving his up. I'm saving mine up for my birthday, but yeah. Okay. Uh, health is going to get 20. Date night is going to get 50. We plan to go on sushi for sushi tomorrow, or technically today, but I'm very excited. Birthday is going to get 20. I think, okay, so I did go ahead and decide to up that from the 10 over here. So when we go back and do our recap, you'll see that this will have increased to 10 over here. Um, gifts is going to get 10. Vehicle registration is going to get 10. And I can't count. So furnishings down here <laughs> is going to get five. Um, and these are not right in my spreadsheet. So I need to add it up manually for you. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, March is going to be a great month. Let's put that out there in the world. Manifest it as the cool kids say. Um, turn my calculator off. I am excited for March. It's going to be good. I'm ready for Easter to be honest because I really want to see my son be adorable. Um, but yeah, we're going to focus on getting, I'm actually really, really trying to focus on getting um, my Etsy listing up with the cash envelope, the custom cash envelopes. I'm working on the like holographic slash um, texture ones first. Um, so I'm hoping to have those up by the end of the month. Um, that way y'all can order them or whoever can order them. I really want people to get into budgeting and just love it. And I know a big part of loving things is having that, um, the aesthetic behind it. So like, oh my gosh, the aesthetic. I love it. Like this, I think this is beautiful. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm ready to change out my binders to something different, but I do love this so much. And I do plan on redoing my... Um, at least some of my envelopes just because they are getting a little old and you know I'm ready to change it up so yeah anyway let me get set up for the cash stuff actually I'll do cash stuffing in the next video thank you guys for sticking around I really appreciate it um oh, oh my gosh I did not add this up one moment please okay it's gonna be one thousand seventy two dollars and ninety five cents for that total so if you guys want, I will add all that up for you. One thousand seventy-two dollars ninety-five cents plus eight fifty plus one fifteen. Perfect. Okay, right. so two thousand thirty-seven dollars. So we have a bit of a buffer there. Fantastic. You'll love to see it. It's yeah. Anyway, I thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good day. Um, tell me about what your plans are for March if you have any goals that you're setting, and I'll see you guys in the cash stuffing. Bye.